Hello and welcome to Board Stupid. My name's Wayne. And I'm Matt. And this is our review of Sakana Stack. Do you like fish? Uh, yes. <laughs> Do you like card games? <laughs> Absolutely. Then I think you might like this one. I know that I like this game. I think you might like this one too. <laughs> and to find out if you like this game, then please hit the subscribe button. If you like fish or not, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Just hit the subscribe button. <laughs> right, Matt, before I crack up any more, let's, uh, let's just yeah, get, let's start this let's get started. Let's <laughs> Rolling dice, feeling nice. Got more dreams and game schemes. Click subscribe, it's a vibe. Poor stupid's all we need. Poor stupid, poor stupid. Game reviews for you and me. Poor stupid, poor stupid. Sakana Stack is a card shedding game designed by Mike Petchy, with art by Josh Petchy, and published by Huff No More Games. Each player starts with a hand of cards, and if there's nothing on the table, it's quite straightforward. You can play a card to the table. You can play as many cards of the same value as you want. The next player in turn must either match the value or match the suit of the card. In this example, this player could play the eight. As it matches the suit of this card, which beats it, it would get discarded. If it went all the way around the table again, this player would bank this card for a point for the end of the game. What you could also do if you have more of the same value like this player does, they could play those to make their stack even harder to beat. And if the catch of the day matches the value of the stack, as it does in this scenario, they could add that to their stack, making it even harder to beat. And every time a player has to pick up a card where they can't match or beat this stack, this player will score another point. The game will end when one player has shedded all the cards from their hand, then you're going to count up all of your banked cards. They will score you points. And after three games, the person with the most points is the winner. All right, Wayne. So we're talking about Sakana Stuck. Sakana is one of the biggest um, fish markets in Japan, or one of the most iconic fish markets yes. in Japan. Yes. Also, I've been led to believe, and I'm sure that is true. I don't know, that, but uh, that's I what I think my, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to Google it. But yeah, we'll Google now, it. While, while I Google it, uh, <laughs> let's talk about the game itself. So we saw how you play in. So yes. we got the, these, uh, this very, very nice, um, uh, not three, Trick taking shedding. but shedding, yes. So you basically try to get rid of all your cards as fast as possible and try yeah. to score the, the, the highest score. Yeah, it's really wonderful because it kind of like Scout, as, as you may know. Yes, that. I can't. <laughs> so I don't, what, I don't know if, if you I'm follow set. the channel, S Scout. I don't know if you've uh, said, yeah. as I've ever said, but I like Scout. Yeah, Scout is another classic Japanese style shedding, yes, where you're getting rid of. Cards. Where Scout is slightly more thinky, this is a bit lighter than that, mm -hmm. and it has really interesting sort of must-follow yeah. mechanisms. And what I, that's what I really love about it. It gives you these really interesting decisions. You must follow either the suit or the value, right, mm -hmm. the number. Uh, and that, based on what you've got in your hand, it gives you really, really, really smart options. Uh, and I love this open uh, catch of the day as well, yes, which you can the also catch use. Catch of the day, yeah, that's uh, so, very, um, very thematic. Very thematic yeah, catch yeah, of the yeah, day. Absolutely. So you can also use this, and you can only use this if you're going to play a card of the same number. So yes. there's a three here. If I've got a three in my hand, I could play it, and then also use the catch of the yeah. day. So now I've got six. Here. And uh, yeah, and it's very interesting how sometimes the catch of the day is going to save you from actually having to pick a card instead, yeah, of, instead of playing. Absolutely. It. And sometimes you can, uh, if you're lucky enough, you can stuck a little bit of a combo. Yeah. For, for example, you already got two, three in your hands. There is a three on the table. And you know, you, you are, you know what? I've got these two, three, and I'm going to get another one just because. Yeah, just deal yeah. with it. Absolutely. And as we noted, if you, can't follow the suit or, or beat the value, you must pick up the catch of the day in yes. the center. And when you do that, everyone that's got a stack in front of them will score one of their cards. Yes, so of course it's like in the market, you take one and you bank it. You go and, and that is going to be one of your points at the, at the end of the game. Exactly, and that's what's interesting, Matt, because it's not just who sheds fastest wins. Yes. Because you don't necessarily not want always, to shed quickly. Yeah, exactly. Not always right? the one who's the quickest. Yeah, you want to maybe yeah. slow it down playing those high values, those high combinations of cards, maybe lots of cards of the same 
number with a high total value. So people keep having to pick up the catch yeah. and you're just scoring point after point after point. And then you just, you know, just slow that down. And when it comes back round to you again, if you've still got cards in front of you, you bank them all. You bank them all. Yeah, exactly. Which is it's, great. Uh, it's, no, it, it's, it's really it's cool. good. And uh, again, it's one of those um, games, probably four, I would say. Is the, Four's the number. It's the number yeah. of um, a player. You can play less than that. or, or... The three-player works great yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, played it at three players, works excellently. At two, there is a... It wasn't designed with two in mind. Yeah. So they added the two-player mode in, which, for transparency, I haven't played. Okay, but, but it's it's not what it's intended was originally created. Not the for. original and, and, and I see why it's um, um it's a family of group of friends game. Um, again, not too complicated. Relatively light card game. Yeah. So so you can teach it very quickly to people that never played a game in their life. I guess yeah. not not just a um, a card game, but literally like any games, which yeah. is pretty intuitive um, once you understand that there are numbers and there are figures. So you yeah, need to yeah, follow yeah, one, yeah, of, yeah. one of the two. And um, yeah, no, I, I, I really liked it. I think the first time that we played, we spent like a few hours just yeah. game up the game. It's it's, it gets it quite competitive as well yeah. <laughs> around the table. It's really, really fun. I think they've really clocked onto a great flow. Yes. It's yeah. not, uh, it's, it gets out of the way quickly. Play three games and you're done. Whoever has the highest score after those three games wins in you know, classic Japanese shedding game style. Yeah. Um, uh, it's nice. It's completely um, robust. The game doesn't ever break. No. There's no weird it's, rules. No, 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 no. It, it just works. Exactly. It's so great. I, I think the guys really hit uh, the nail with this with this game in, the, in this category. Yes. It's uh, absolutely excellent. This one is literally one of our new favorite yeah. Uh, filler games or, or aperitif games, as, yeah. as we like to call it, just before something that is way heavier. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. say, yeah, let's throw, let's throw the Sakana stack on the table because it's, uh, it's really lovely. It's a really lovely game, completely a language independent as well. Took yep. this from the Czech Republic with me. Uh, played this with a partner's family who don't speak any English at all. And of course, there's no English to even worry about because... Did you win? Uh, or do no, you I don't think I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had mum won. So, I got spanked, I think. <laughs> Above all that, let's talk about a little bit of the production of this game because yeah. it's excellent. And her mum's a shark. <laughs> okay, Matt, let's have a dig into the production of the game. I mean, we're not going to go into massive detail. It's, it's cards, no, right? Yeah, it, but... it, it, it is cards, uh, but I want to touch on the, uh, on the artwork. Um, so uh, let's say that, again, that this game is made by Mike and Joss Pesci. Pesci. Yeah. Um, there are um, a couple that yep. lives down in the south coast of England. Where all very, of the new games are Very, very, very close happening. to us as well. Uh, so this is completely independent game. Uh, they, uh, Mike designed the game and just did all the artwork. And these are all um, basically scan of her Print uh, a lot of that uh, hand and painting. Uh, using, in a traditional image, yeah, right? using using the traditional Japanese uh, techniques and uh, methods and colors yeah. and, uh, and and style. Um, and it looks absolutely absolutely beautiful. Uh, it comes in a very small box. And we we saw a lot of um, uh, with the the Oink Games yeah. uh, style boxes. I mean, this is you put it in your pocket and you bring it down to the pub or yeah. or, or, or traveling. So it's absolutely great. And um, yeah, nothing to say. Like production is perfect for this type of game. Yeah, it's a fabulous production. The artwork is tremendous. I love the style that Joss has achieved. Here. Yeah. Uh, and how it just really gives loads of yeah. character and flavour to what is it's a, it's, a, it's a shedding card game, yeah. right? The theme is the theme. You can take or leave the theme. It could they, be they, it could be almost any. I, th I think anything. they they I think but I think they they nailed it there yeah. with the with, with the, the open, with the market with yeah, the catch yeah, yeah, of the day. True. So there are it works. There, there is thinking behind that, and, there I, is and we really it. appreciate it. Definitely, there is thought behind it, and it is accentuated with the wonderful artwork and the beautiful color palette. I love these sort of pastel shades. Yes. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, I think this is a great little package. Uh, yeah, amazing job with the production. Okay, Wayne, um, let's talk, who's this game for then? Well, as I've already mentioned, or may or may not have mentioned, yeah. um, I like Scout. And so if you like Scout, this might be one for you, because that is my favorite card game of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, this, um, 
well, we'll come to that in the final thoughts, actually, but is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a much lighter take on that type of thing. So if Perfect. you like that, but you want something less thinky, because Scout can be a little bit weirdly uh, thinky and crunchy when you're thinking, oh, wait, do I pick that up or do I play, do I Scout? But yeah. this doesn't really have that. No, this it has is a relatively more, straightforward decision. Yeah, it's, decision more, it's more straightforward, yes. Yeah. No, absolutely, yes. Scout is definitely one. I would say if you're a little bit, um, if you've got some grey hair like me and Wayne right now, probably something like him and Rummy yeah. Uh, so if you ever play Rummy Cup where you're trying to get rid of your tiles, numbered tiles, uh, this got basically the same the same mechanics, yeah. but uh, with card and uh, with uh, a more beautiful artwork, and yeah. you don't need to pick up the Rummy Cup copy from uh, your grandma. <laughs> um, you don't need to steal it from They'd her. Steal it from that's, that. that's 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 what I do. That <laughs> yeah, go pick up Scarlet Stack instead. Uh, yeah, and if you just if you like card games in general, this is going yeah. to be uh, one that you certainly should play and yeah. seek out. It does some really interesting things. Um, nothing completely unique, man. But what we say on the channel is how they express these exactly. familiar things. Yes. Yeah, 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 is yeah. Interesting. The, the 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 mechanics at the end of the day is a shedding card game. Yeah. Um, there are a couple of like the as as we say the game the catch of the day, the, 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 day, the st stuck in your your fishes and all this yeah. stuff that is thematic and it's really really well made. Uh, but it's how the game flows, how the yeah. game. How are you having fun playing this yeah. game? And we had a lot of fun playing yeah. this game. Oh, yeah, great, great fun. Matt, what's your final thoughts on Sakana Stack? Uh, nice and easy, super quick. It is a thumbs up for me because it's, uh, it's an amazing game. It flows brilliantly. Yeah. You can play in 15, 20 minutes. It's the perfect filler games between like more heavy stuff or it's something that, again, you bring down the pub and having fun with friends, even if they're not board gamers. So yeah. absolutely to me is a double thumbs up. Absolutely. So same for me as well. I think this is a wonderful light game. I said to Matt, I've played this maybe 20 to 30 times at this point. Yeah, you maybe took it more. away on your holidays. Maybe and, more than 30 uh, yeah. times. So I've absolutely hammered this game and it's been fun every single time. Mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed it. Absolutely big, big thumbs up from me as well. Um, in the sort of card game slash beginner game category, yeah. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, beginner card games. Yeah. Um, should we see? Let's do the thumbs up, thumbs down for the Seal of Excellence then. That's the card yeah. stack. Get a Seal, seal of, of Excellence. excellence. So, three, two, one. Go! Yes, he yes, does. does! Yes, he does. does! This is a game that both should be absolutely uh, loved, yeah. and uh, we definitely, it should be in your collection. Absolutely. That's how, what our Seal of Excellence is. It's telling you guys, if you can, go out and buy it, because it's an amazing, amazing game that hits the scratch. Each particular scratch the itch. Scratch the itch. that particular itch. It's an excellent game. This game is going to be on Kickstarter at the time that you see this video. Okay, so yeah. So you should yeah, yeah. back this when you watch it. And if you're watching this in the future, then this should be available near you. So go back in the... Yeah. And, and then buy the game then. Or you go back in the past, back, back here, in, then and then go back wait. to the future. Yeah. And then it's already delivered. Yeah, exactly. that would be great. That's what we should be probably. So that was our review of Sakana Stack, an absolutely wonderful, wonderful... Amazing game. Yeah, an amazing homage game. to classic Japanese Shedders by Huff No More. Uh, a, a wonderful first game from them. Uh, and if you liked this video, then make sure you check out the rest of our content. Mm -hmm. Hit the like button, all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But let us know what do you think. Have you ever heard of this game? Are you interested in it? And are you interested in it now? Well, you should. You should, and you should let us know, leaving a comment down below. And but first of all, hit the subscribe button yes. so you can know um, every time we bring out a new video. Absolutely, I was really surprised by this game. I think it's wonderful, and I hope you're surprised too. And we'll catch you again real soon. Ciao. Do you like fish? Yeah. Do you like card games? Yes. I think you might like this one. And do you know what else you should probably like? <laughs> That's that again. <laughs> do you like fish? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great intro. What are you talking about? That was perfect. <laughs>